For decades, when patients suffered from chronic tonsil problems, the conversation almost always led to one place, a tonsillectomy. It's a procedure that many people know about, and it's often presented as the only definitive procedural option. But many patients hesitate, and that's for pretty good reason. The idea of formal surgery in an operating room, being intubated with general anesthesia, and a long, painful recovery is a pretty big step. This leads to a critical question. If your main problem is tonsil stones and not constant severe infections, is a full tonsillectomy the right tool for the job? Or is there a more modern, targeted approach? Today, I'm going to give you an ENT surgeon's side-by-side -side comparison of a traditional tonsillectomy and our in-office laser tonsil cryptolysis, so you can understand the best path forward for your specific problem. Before we compare the details, we have to understand that these two procedures have completely different goals. A traditional tonsillectomy has one goal, the complete removal of the entire tonsil gland. It's very effective, but it's also the most aggressive approach. The tonsil sits in a little cave made of muscle, and we have to essentially burn the tonsil out of that cave. And the inflammation and the swelling at the muscle layer is what makes recovery so difficult for up to two to three weeks of the worst sore throat ever. Laser tonsil cryptolysis, on the other hand, is a procedure based on tonsil preservation and resurfacing. The goal isn't to remove the entire tonsil. We resurface the outer portion of the tonsil where the crypts are. Using a precise laser, we shallow out the crypts and eliminate where the stones form. We leave the muscle layer alone. Tonsillectomy is about total removal, whereas the laser cryptolysis is about targeted resurfacing. All right, let's break down the key differences that matter most to you as a patient. First is anesthesia. A tonsillectomy requires general anesthesia, meaning you're intubated and asleep in an operating room. Our laser cryptolysis is done using only local anesthetic, typically a numbing spray and a small injection, just like at the dentist's office. There's no intubation into your windpipe and there's no general anesthesia risks. Next is bleeding risk. This is a pretty big difference. A tonsillectomy involves cutting the tonsil out, which creates a raw muscle surface that carries a greater risk of post-operative bleeding. The laser, however, is a precision tool that vaporizes surface tissue and seals blood vessels as it works. The risk of bleeding with laser cryptolysis is significantly lower because we are leaving the muscle layer alone. Now the one everyone asks about, recovery. The recovery from a tonsillectomy is notoriously difficult, often two to three weeks of severe stroke pain that almost always requires narcotic pain medication. With laser cryptolysis, the recovery is very different. Most patients experience a mild sore throat for just a few days, usually manage with over-the-counter medication. You can walk in, have the procedure, and walk out to continue your day. So as a surgeon, there is definitely a place for both procedures. A tonsillectomy remains the right choice for patients with chronic, recurrent, severe bacterial infections, like several times a year for multiple years. However, tonsil laser cryptolysis is a great option for the patient whose primary problem is chronic, annoying tonsil stones and the bad breath when conservative methods fail like saltwater gargles or attempts at manual removal. Laser cryptolysis precisely targets the tissue without the collateral damage, risk, and difficult recovery of a full tonsillectomy. If you've been living with a frustration of tonsil stones and the only solution you've been offered is a major surgery with a two to three week recovery, you should know that you have other options. You deserve a solution that is tailored to your specific problem. I invite you to learn more. Click the link in the description below to visit our website for ENT of Georgia South. There you can schedule a consultation, either in person or through telemedicine virtually, to determine if this modern approach is the right one for you. Thanks for watching.